Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Paw Patrol Pups are going to hop into a cozy little bed while I read them a story. Zuma, Chase, Marshall, Rubble, Rocky, and Sky. And we can't forget our own little puppy who's having a little snooze right behind us. Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's one of my favorite books. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon, around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Paw Patrol friends are at the playground. They're in a big tunnel slide. It's bright red and they're coming down one at a time. Here comes Apollo. And here comes Chase. Who's coming down next? It's Marshall. Here comes Sky. Here comes the last pup. It's Rocky. We're missing Rubble and Zuma today. They must be on a special mission. Sky checks out the playground. Let's go over the bridge, Sky. She wants to go down the red slide one more time. Ready, set, go. Whee! Sky has spotted some blue swings and there's a black one at the end. Let's count how many swings there are. One, two, 
three, four swings. Sky wants to go in the black one. Five of the pumps are balancing on one swing together. Let's see if we can give them a little push without them falling off. Oh dear, whoops, Chase, you fell off. We'll rescue you, Chase, and get you back on. Oh no, let's get Sky. We'll put you back on, Sky. Now the pups are on the blue tire swing. What a fun day at the park. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to read a Paw Patrol book called Ice Team. And the book is covered in glitter and you can feel the glitter that's glued onto the book and inside a sparkling glitter Inside Plus Glitter poster, which we'll show you at the end of the story. So let's begin the story. Ice Team. One sunny day, the Paw Patrol was getting ready for a trip to see their friend Jake at the ice fields. Suddenly, there was a loud roar and a big truck rolled up. Presenting the Paw Patroller, Ryder announced. It's a lookout on wheels. It can take us anywhere. A door opened in the side and a mechanical dog hopped out. Robo Dog will be our driver. And there's Robo Dog. As Ryder was showing the pups around the Paw Patroller, Jake called. Hey, Jake. How are the ice fields, Ryder asked. Amazing, Jake declared. Take a look. The screen showed snowy hills and an icy river. And there's the glittery sparkles. Just then, Jake slipped on the ice and the pups could hear him yell. My phone, my maps, all oh, my stuff. Jake's equipment had splashed into the icy river. Oh dear. Jake's in big trouble, Rubble exclaimed. Pups, get in your vehicles, Ryder said. The Paw Patroller's back door opened and a ramp came out. The pups quickly drove their vehicles abroad. Robo Dog started the engine and the Paw Patroller rolled into action. At the ice fields, Jake was trying to get his backpack out of the water, but the riverbank was so icy that he began to slide in. Luckily, a husky pup pulled him out. Sweet, save, Jake said, then introduced himself. My name's Everest, the pup explained. I rescued someone. I've always wanted to do a real rescue. Very dangerous to be near cold waters. We should probably get going, Everest said. A storm's rolling in. I wouldn't want to lose my first real rescue in a blizzard. We can wait it out in my igloo. To get there, we can do this. Everest flopped onto her belly and slid down the hill. Belly bogganing? Jake shouted, taking off after her. Look out below! The two new friends slid along the ice, zooming past some penguins. When the Paw Patroller reached the ice fields, the snow was falling hard. The team started to look for Jake. They quickly found his frozen phone and pack. This means Jake doesn't have any supplies, Ryder said. Then he noticed something in the snow. Are those tracks? Chase gave the tracks a sniff. That's Jake, all right. 
and he's got another pup with him. Those tracks should lead us to Jake, Ryder announced. Let's follow them. As Chase followed the tracks on the ground, Skye took to the frosty air. This pup's got to fly. Everest and Jake came to a narrow bridge that stretched across a deep, dark ravine. My igloo is just across that ice bridge, Everest said. Will it hold us? Jake asked. I hope so, the husky replied. It's the only way to get over. As they walked across, they heard a terrible cracking noise. The ice bridge was breaking. See the crack? Very scary. Just as the bridge collapsed, Skye swooped in, catching Jake and Everest with a rope. But before she had carried them to the other side of the ravine, the rope broke. Jump! Jake yelled. Everest landed on a ledge, but Jake missed it. He caught the edge with his fingers and dangled over the dark ravine. Don't worry, Everest yelled. I've got you. She snagged Jake's sleeve and pulled him to safety. Yes, two rescues in one day. Everyone went to Jake's cabin on the mountain for roasted marshmallows and a surprise. Everest, Jake said, I could use a smart pup like you to help out on the mountain. And for saving Jake and showing great rescue skills, Ryder added, I'd like to make you an official member of the Paw Patrol. This is the best day ever, Everest exclaimed. And all the pups cheered, hooray! And now there's the newest member of Paw Patrol. That's the end of our story. And now I'm gonna show you the poster that is included in the book. It tears out and you can hang it up on your wall. Oh, wow. Look at that. Paw Patrol and it's the picture of Everest and it's the same picture as what's on the front of the book for your wall. And again, it has the glitter and the little penguins in the si side, rider in the background. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Kitty and I are opening a new Paw Patrol toy. It's called Rocky's Barn Rescue. The set comes with a full track that goes all the way around and a little yellow and red truck with a driver and a mini Rocky. Let's open it up. I've taken all of the parts out of the box, including the little Rocky. Ruff, ruff. There are four straight tracks to our road and four curved tracks. There's a little yellow button on the barn. Let's see if it does anything. Hmm. Here are some stickers that say you can stick them anywhere you want on the track. Now it's time to build. And it didn't take long, maybe five minutes. Now it's time for Rocky to go for a ride. When the wind blows, the cow gate blows open. Rocky must rush to close the door so the cow doesn't go out into the road. That wouldn't be safe. The cow could get hit by a truck. He jumps out of the truck and pushes the yellow button and closes the gate. The cow is safe. Great job, Rocky. Now let's hop back into the truck. Uh-oh, Kitty's tail is in the way. Rocky must move it away from the truck and off the road.
Keep your tail there, kitty. Uh-oh. There's a little frog on the road. Rocky scares the frog and it jumps off. And now there's a turtle. They wait as the turtle slowly crosses the road. Uh-oh. This time there are many frogs on the road. Can you help Rocky count how many frogs? One, two, three, four, five, six frogs. The red and green frog is missing something. Can you see what it is? The poor little guy is missing his front foot. Okay, tiny fans, we had a special Paw Patrol guest at the beginning of the video. Did you see who it was? It was Apollo. He was hiding by the barn. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Paw Patrol pups are going to wash our dirty Fisher Price van. We have the perfect car washing kit. And let's see what's in the back of the trunk. Oh, perfect. It's a little table. We'll need that later. We're opening our shiny and new car wash set by our generation. Look at all of the fun accessories. Let's open it up and have a closer look at each piece. Oh, got it. Let's pull the tray out. All of the little accessories are between two pieces of plastic. Rubble, you're not supposed to be sitting on the towel. Get to work. Ooh, yes, I'm in charge of cleaning windows today. Here is my yellow squeegee. And you can't wash windows without a window cleaner. So I have my spray bottle. It's only water and vinegar, and I made the cleaner myself. Hi, I'm Skye, and I'm in charge of the music today to keep a fun and happy atmosphere. I have my pink stereo. I'll put my antenna up and my MP3 player inside the slot. Let's turn it on. My name is Chase and I'm in charge of washing the outside of the car. I have my bucket full of soapy warm water, my yellow wash mitt. I'll wear it on my paws. I guess I should call it a paw mitt. Hi, I'm Marshall and I'm in charge of snacks and drinks. I have our pink and white cooler. Push the button to open it. Of course we need some ice to keep everything cold. To keep us cool, we have lemon, coconut and cherry popsicles. For drinks, we have grape soda and we all brought our reusable water bottles. Remember, reuse, reduce, recycle. Snacks are ready. Hi, I'm Rocky, and my job is to clean the seats using this shampoo. All of our dog fur gets on the upholstery, and we need to clean it regularly. All finished. I'm Zuma, and I'm in charge of refilling the windshield wash in the engine. Windshield wash can be very poisonous, so it's not for kids to touch or open. I also have the cherry air freshener to keep things smelling really fruity in the van. Good teamwork, Paw Patrol pups. 
and thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye!